everyone welcome back to a brand new vlog i hope you're all doing very very well today it is monday and unfortunately it is not the morning i have been working all day i am absolutely roasting it is so warm in the uk i can't believe the weather i am so happy but also so hot I'm currently standing by the window because the breeze here is just a dream in the bedroom. I have just filmed a video for YouTube which is going out on Thursday this week so you would have already watched it and it was a lot of talking. I literally was talking for about an hour straight and my throat is hurting and I need a drink. So let's go downstairs. I have been so busy this morning just doing such random things. I've been cleaning the windows, cleaning all the surfaces, hoovering, trying my best to get rid of all the flies because the flies in our house it is actually ridiculous i think it's because it's so hot and i've got the windows open they just fly in and then they must love it in here and they just stay i went into my office and there were about 12 flies and i was like oh no so i've been using my tea towel to try and get them all outside <laughs> but it is now the afternoon i don't even know what the time is i think it's probably about five o'clock half four five o'clock and it's still blue skies and super sunny and i'm honestly not complaining it's such a beautiful day i've really gone off drinking water at the moment i don't know why i think it's because we've got quite hard water and it tastes quite chalky so what i've been having instead is robinson's fruit creations this is orange and mango it's probably not very good for you and it's probably got a lot of sugar in although it does say no added sugar i don't really believe those things and honestly, oh my god, it's such a dream. When you're really thirsty, I absolutely love it. It's so good. Also, what does everyone call these, like, dilute juice things? Then I think in the UK, do we call them squash? Because I always call them juice, but it's not really juice, is it? Oh, that is so good. Right, first things first, let me give you a little garden tour, show you what we were up to at the weekend because we were so busy in the garden. We literally spent the whole weekend just doing loads and loads of stuff and we bought some new things and I can't wait to share them. So this is our little secret garden. Well, it will be secret. This is actually going to have laurels all along here. We're gonna remove this path and the pathway is gonna come through the middle. Um, and we're going to have some laurels planted along the edges, but we can't actually plant those until autumn. So that won't be happening yet. Oh my goodness, that breeze is so nice. Um, so this pathway will be Cotswold Stone, which will be exactly the same as the driveway, and it will lead, still Cotswold Stone, it will lead over to the sitting area, which will be Cotswold Stone. <laughs> um but it will kind of have like a little border of grass along the edge like two foot of grass around the edge and then we will also plant some box hedging along all the edges so you'll probably i'm guessing you'll probably enter it here we haven't really finalized the plans yet but the box hedging will obviously stop and then you'll have a little entrance in there'll be some gorgeous pots around we're going to get a new table for the middle a little bit lower and a bit bigger similar vibe because i really like these um, restored scaffold plank tables i absolutely love these i got these from etsy ages ago they were in my old bedroom in my family home they were my bedside tables and this is going to be the little social seating area and then over to this side we've got the dining table now the reason i've put this here because you might notice it's different to the last vlog is that this actually gets the sun until really late so we actually get the sunset here over here the sun sets down here and this hedge needs to be just squared off a little bit it just needs to be lowered a tiny bit and neatened up and then we will get such good sun in the evening i mean we already do but this bit kind of goes into shade about seven o'clock and then we still get a little bit more sun here a little bit later so i've just popped this here for now i've just got a little tablecloth and some very sad looking flowers from the weekend so the cotswold stone is probably going to end about here um, and then we will just have the rest of the lawn, just an expansive lawn, because I think it's so lovely to have a nice big space of grass, especially in the future when we have children and when we have friends over at the weekend and they want to play football and games and all of that stuff. We've got like a really nice bit of lawn. I've actually just popped the sunbeds over here um, for now, just because it's a really nice private little area. We get nice shade and sun and it's just quite a nice space to sit. 
but look at my border. You might remember we were working on this the other weekend and it is finally looking good. So we expanded it out a little bit more. We've added lavender all along the perimeter of the wall and Jack has also added in a really smart looking edge. This is basically just a thin bit of wood that's been varnished with paint that is really good for wood. It's, it's the same paint that's used on the barns. Um, so it's really weatherproof, really durable, and he's just banged it into the ground all around this edge. And I just think it looks amazing. I love it so much. So a little bit later, I need to come out and water all the plants, but I can't wait for this to grow. I'm really hoping it will kind of grow up on this brick wall and it will just line this so well. It's going to look amazing. Also at the weekend, we went to the garden center and picked up loads of little plants and loads of little bits to just kind of style all the spaces. I got these little gorgeous plants, which are just so pretty and delicate. I love these ones. I think I want to get some more of these. Um, Chuck chose this little spiky one. We've got some leftover lavender and I've also got some geraniums as well. What I wanted to show you here is these pots. We actually got left loads and loads of pots in the shed. They're all terracotta pots. And I don't love terracotta. I mean, I don't hate it, but Jack isn't keen on it and he likes this really nice light stone colour. So I found this on Amazon and it's from rust -Oleum. It's a limestone effect spray. I didn't think it was going to be any good, but I tested it out and I am so impressed. Look at how brilliant it looks on this terracotta pot. It just looks like it's always been like that. Honestly, I'm so impressed. I'm going to link this below because I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, this, these little plants are going to be used for table designs, on little side tables. I'm just going to pop them in all the little garden spaces and they're just going to bring some really nice life to all the little spaces. And next up we have our little Italian terrace. Firstly, how beautiful are these peonies? I cannot believe the size of these peonies. They are absolutely massive. Look at them next to my hand. Can you even believe these are real? Oh my goodness. They're just absolutely stunning. They also smell incredible. These were actually already here when we moved in and I just love them. They are absolutely incredible. So the plan here, I would really like to end the flower bed here um, and re-turf this so that it's just a little bit of a nicer entry into the garden but jack thinks we should replant some things here and keep it as a border but i'm not sure um let me know what you guys think this is going to be our little terrace straight out of tuscany i am so excited to start styling this up so our plan here is to jet wash the patio and regrout it just because the grout has kind of subsided a little bit just after a lot of wear and tear and probably awful weather in the uk so that's going to really refresh this a lot. I think these slabs were actually a really, really pale grey. So that's going to really bring this to life. And then we're going to plant a box hedge all around this little edge bit around the border. And it will probably stop in line with the door. So we'll have a little opening at the front here. And then on the patio, I have ordered some furniture to go here, which should arrive by the end of the week. So it should be in this vlog. Um, it's a gorgeous black iron sofa and two armchairs and a coffee table, all with cream cushions, just something really different to the wood that's in the other garden. I wanted this to feel a little bit more classic and almost a little bit more fancy. I know you're probably wondering where these are from. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love these. They're actually just from a really local garden center. It's not a chain, it's just a really small, local garden center and i am so obsessed with these i cannot tell you we weren't sure whether to get them yet we couldn't decide we were umming and ahhing we went back to the truck and then we decided let's just go back in and get them because we're going to regret it and i'm so happy that we did so we've got the plinth and the amazing urn i just think these are so beautiful they look incredible they really elevate the space and when this is all styled up they're going to fit so perfectly and we have another one over the other side, the plinth and the urn. And then we also got these two little square planters. I just love these. I thought they were really cute. They're really nice styling elements. We're definitely going to go back and get more because they had so many different styles. So you will be seeing a lot of this style of planter because we absolutely love it. The only downside is they are so heavy. I can't really move them. I need Jack to move them because they are so unbelievably heavy. But I just planted some little, I think these are daisies. I'm, do you know what? I don't really know much about gardening. I just pick things that I think look nice that are going to do well in the full sun. So 
you guys let me know in the comments if I'm doing something wrong all this time that I'm in the garden because I don't have any clue. But yeah, I just got some little daisies to go in there. Just nice and wild and pretty. And yeah, that's kind of it for this area. We also planted a couple of little bits over here as well. Um, we've got some more lavender that was left over and these little plants. I don't actually know the name of these, but the it had like a little code name and they were called Silver Carpet. And they are the softest plants. I really wish you could feel them. They're like velvet. And I just really loved the colour, but Jack absolutely loved these and he was insistent that we got them. So we popped a couple of those in here. I think these do flower, so I'm intrigued to see what they look like. The next thing I really want to do here is do something with this because I feel like this just looks a little bit sad. I don't know any plant experts out there that know what this is. Please let me know. But I don't know if it's dead, if it's at the end of its life. I don't know if it just needs some help or if it, this is how it should look. I've got no idea. To me, it looks quite dead. Like the roots are really brown. They break off quite a lot and it's all quite dead up here. But I don't know if that just needs cutting back. But ideally, I would really love to have, I'll put a picture of what I saw the other day, but I saw this gorgeous rose trailing up the side of a house. It was absolutely stunning. And that is the kind of vibe that I'd like to have up here, just all along this wall and around the window, I think would be so stunning. So yeah, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know whether to take it out and try and plant something else or if it's going to come back to life. I feel like it's a shame to take it out if it's still going to, you know, do really well. So I'm not sure. My Amazon delivery just arrived and annoyingly the wallpaper paste that we had ordered had exploded in transit so they had to take it away and I'm going to be sent a new one. Not the end of the world, just really wanted to get going with the wallpaper tonight but oh well. But also my drawers arrived, I ordered kind of like a vanity drawer situation, table even, from Amazon because it was only £60. And it looked like a really nice wood colour and I think it really is. So the only downside is I've now got to build it but I really want to get it done so I'm going to do it now. And I'm absolutely boiling but it's going to be worth it. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It's Tuesday today. Another beautiful sunny day and I'm wearing another gorgeous dress which I will show you later. But I have just had a waitress delivery. And I thought I'd show you what I got in the food shop because I love seeing what people get in their food shop. And I found some really good things. So let me give you a little food shop tour. First thing I really wanted to get was some more ice creams and ice lollies. I saw these orange ice lollies and I thought they would be amazing. So I got those. And I also saw these and me and Jack are obsessed with this chocolate. So I thought these would be really good. I need to get these in the freezer ASAP. Just got loads of bits for dinner. We've got um, like mango and coconut chicken, some crispy potato slices, chicken kievs for Jack some pre-cooked chicken which i always use in my wraps for lunch some chili smoked salmon pizzas we always have pizzas on a friday and some hummus and then i've just got these little salad pots which probably is really bad and i should make it myself but they're just so handy when we have barbecues and things loads of cheese halloumi for the barbecue if you don't have halloumi on your barbecue by the way really recommend doing it this is the cheese that we always get it's so delicious Feta cheese and then some cheese slices as well. Lots of salad, lots of veggies, some Seed Sensations bread, some wraps. And then I also, oh, and these crisps are literally the best crisps ever. And I got a real mix of herbs. Unfortunately, they had to substitute these ones. Um, I did actually order them all in pots, but they didn't have them available. So we've got them in non-pot form. But I do have little pots of mint, thyme and chives as well. Because I really want to make a little herb garden. And I'm actually going to do this later today when I get back. Um, I've got the perfect pot to put them in. And I know you should probably get these from the garden centre or grow them from seeds. But I'm a little bit impatient and I also don't really know a lot about gardening. So to me, I feel like this is just a really easy option to just buy this pot and put it in a proper pot with compost and everything and pray that it um, survives. So yes, these ones I can't do, but... These ones I can, so we shall do that later. Also in the little drink section, I got a bottle of rosé. I always like to have a bottle of rosé in the fridge for when guests come over. And my friend Beth brought this one round and it's absolutely delicious. And it's a really good price. I think it was about 7 dollars which is really, really good for a good rosé. 
vanilla milk for my coffees, tons of Diet Coke and Moretti beer, which is what Jack drinks. And then I also picked up a bottle of Aperol and some mini Proseccos because I went to my friend's house the other day and she gave me an Aperol and it was absolutely delicious. And we always have so much tonic water. So I thought I could make a few little Aperols this week. And I got some little bottles of Prosecco rather than a big one so that I can open one and they'll stay fizzy. And I just thought that was such a great idea. So yeah, I'm just about to leave. I thought I would show you my outfit of the day, my hair is an absolute state, I really need to wash it, but we've had to turn the water off in the shower because it's leaking, so I can't wash my hair, so I've just had to dry shampoo it and kind of hope for the best, but I am wearing this beautiful dress that I've had for a good couple of years now, it's from Charlotte and Tess, I absolutely love it, it's an independent brand and I just think it's so beautiful, it's really light and airy because it's really really hot, so I wanted to just wear something that would really just float off my body and not too tight and I just absolutely love this. I love the length of it and I love this little drop hem. The broderie on glaze is just beautiful. It's not see-through at all and I just absolutely love it. And I'm just gonna wear this with my Miu Miu sunglasses, my Hermes Oran sandals because they are so comfortable. And I think I'm gonna bring my basket bag because we are going to do some home shopping today and I cannot wait. I haven't actually done any home shopping in store yet. Um, I've only really done it online, so I'm really excited for today. I'm gonna spend the whole day with my mum. It's just gonna be absolutely lovely. So I will bring you along with me. Okay, we've just arrived in Tamar Dwells and we're gonna start off going into the Cotswold Company. Have a little look in here, see what they've got. Oh, they've got a sale. This building is amazing. I absolutely love this shop. You said that. Surprised someone didn't say so. The lighting is very bad, but I absolutely love this print of these cushions and throw. I think that's so nice. It's not really showing up very well on the camera. It's so orange, but I love that. Right, we have just come for some lunch in the sunshine. We are at the most beautiful restaurant that I've never actually seen before. It's new and it's stunning. It's called Charlotte in the Pantiles in Tumbridge Wells and I absolutely love it. Look how beautiful this bathroom is. Good afternoon. Oh my goodness, it's windy. I have just got home and I have got a big loot of things in my boot. Look at all these goodies that I picked up today. Honestly, I have found the best pieces and I cannot wait to show you. I think I'm gonna do a new in home haul and show you everything that I've got in a separate video because I have got some amazing pieces and I'm so excited about it. So I need to take this all inside now, but oh my goodness, how beautiful is my boot looking? Okay, right, I've brought all my goodies inside and I don't know whether to show you them all now or just to show you a few. I think I'm just gonna show you a few of them and then film a big video of all the new things that I bought recently for the house. Um, so I'm gonna show you the bits that I can actually link because some of them are from HomeSense. But I went into the white company and I wanted to get some new bedding just to kind of refresh the bedding that we've already got. We've had it for years now. And I just wanted something new that would really fit in line with the house and the style that the new bedroom is going to be in. So firstly, I wanted to get some really big cushions for the back of the bed. We already have the cushion cup, the actual cushions, so I just needed some covers. So I picked up these and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. The texture of these is just so beautiful. Really lovely little ribbed woven texture and I just think they're gorgeous. Super, super big cushion covers. So these are gonna work so well at the back of the bed. I just absolutely love these. I love having big cushions at the back of the bed. I think it just really brings the whole bed to life. So I got two of those they were 35 pounds. I will link them below. And then I also saw these little placemats and I just thought they were gorgeous. And I've been really trying to up my dining wear game because I don't really have much in terms of tablecloths and placemats and all of that stuff. So I've been trying to get a nice selection, especially now we're gonna be doing a lot of hosting and dining outside. So I saw these and I thought they were lovely. They're a very similar kind of texture to the cushion covers, like this waffle texture, but they are green and white stripe on one side and then the other side 
is actually this really cute little ditzy floral pattern and I just think it's so pretty with a little scalloped edge. I just think they're gorgeous. They're so pretty and feminine. These were £20 for two and they're reversible. So I think that is really, really good. I'm very impressed with that. So that's what I got from the White Company and then I went into this gorgeous little shop in Tunbridge Wells. If you live local to Tunbridge Wells, I really recommend going to this little boutique. It's called Biggie Best. And firstly, I noticed it because Nadia's dog is called Biggie. <laughs> and I have sent her a picture of the outside multiple times. But I went in there today and honestly, I could have bought everything. It's so gorgeous. The style is very like Cotswold, Dalesford, Burford Garden Company kind of vibe. Everything is stunning. It's very like natural materials. The prints that they had were stunning. I think when we get to the phase of actually decorating the rooms properly, I'm definitely going to go back there and get loads of stuff because it was gorgeous. But I decided to get this tablecloth because all the tablecloths I have are quite basic. They're just plain, nothing really jazzy going on. And I wanted something that was a little bit different and a bit more in line with the style of our house. So I picked up this. It's just a very simple green and cream striped tablecloth in a linen blend. It's going to be gorgeous. I also think tablecloths are so great for just vamping up a table display, whether you use them inside, outside, fold them up as a table runner. You can get so much use out of a tablecloth. I even use them at the beach as like a massive rug to sit on, things like that. I just love them. I think they're brilliant. So I love that. I'm very, very pleased with that. And then I got loads of stuff in HomeSense, loads of stuff, but I'm going to be really annoying and tell you to wait a few days because I'm going to film a home haul, which will be live in a couple of days once this is live. So hold on put the notification bell on and make sure you're subscribed to me because I'm gonna do a full in-depth haul of everything that I've picked up. Yeah, I'm very pleased. I'm so happy with all the bits I picked up today. I haven't been shopping in such a long time. I never really go shopping anymore and especially home shopping. Everything I get, I just order online because it's so much easier. But I had the nicest day. We sat and had coffee and we had lunch at that new restaurant Charlotte's in the Pantiles. It was absolutely gorgeous i'm definitely going to be going back there quite a lot and i would love to go there in the evening for drinks because the bar looked really cool um it was like full marble i really wish i showed you it it was amazing so it is now the evening i think it's about half five and i am going to put all of this stuff away i actually think i'm gonna remake the bed and like restyle everything because i'm so excited about it and then I'm going to relax. I'm going to chill. I'm going to probably do a little bit of work on my laptop and get myself sorted for the evening. Think about dinner. I might go outside, do a little bit of gardening. I also picked up a couple of little plants as well for some pots that I've still got. And they're gorgeous. So I'll show you those later in the garden. I'm loving my little evening routine of cooking dinner, talking to Jack. Usually Jack's doing some sort of job that he wants to get done and going outside and watering all the plants at like half eight, nine. I just love it. It's so relaxing and calming. So yeah, that is my day. I'm in such a good mood this week. It's been absolutely lovely. I just love spending time with my mum and having like a full day together. It's just so good. Okay, I'm up in the bedroom. This is how our bed is currently looking. We are actually refurbing this whole room, so just ignore the actual room for now. Let's just focus on the bed. Um, this is the little muslin-y linen blanket that we have on the bed at the minute, which we've actually been sleeping with because it's been so hot. This is from Bedfolk, and these little boucle cushions are from Dusk. I feel like they need a wash. They're looking a bit funny. So let's take these off for now. I am going to restyle the bed with all of the new bits that I picked up and we can do it together. I always get questions about where our actual bedding is from. The pillows and the duvet, it's all from John Lewis. I'm gonna link all the exact ones down below in the description box. And our mattress is an Emma mattress, which honestly, I would never have a different mattress. Jack's mum actually bought all new mattresses for the house in their family home a few years ago now and ever since I slept in Jack's bedroom in his old house I just knew Emma mattresses were amazing. And they actually reached out to me when we moved into the flat to work with them which was just incredible because 
It was only a year before that I discovered Emma Mattress and realised how comfortable they are. So it was just a no-brainer. We will definitely be getting an Emma Mattress in our guest bedroom as well because they are so comfortable. I think they've got quite a lot of styles now, but they never used to. They used to just have the one Emma Mattress, but we got the premium Emma Mattress. So I think it's really good for airflow and it's really good for movement. So for example, if Jack gets up really early in the morning, I don't even notice he's got out of bed because you just can't feel somebody like moving out of the bed, you can't feel it at all. It doesn't create any movement. So M mattress is the dream. I'm gonna link our mattress down below as well. And our bed is from made.com, which unfortunately you can't actually shop from anymore, but Dusk have some really, really similar ones and they're a really good price point. So definitely recommend checking out Dusk. Also, I'm looking in the viewfinder and I just absolutely hate those beams so much. I feel like it looks like we're in a pub. I just I hate it, I hate it. But bear with me, because this room is gonna get a huge makeover, so it's all gonna be fine in the end. Right, let's make the bed. I am so hot. So I've got the first pillowcase on. How gorgeous are these ruffles? These are the HomeSense ones. And I've also got my White Company back cushions on. I love these. They literally look amazing. And for my second pillows, I'm going to use um, these cushion covers, which everything needs an iron, by the way. Please don't judge me. Um, but I just can't wait to get this on. So I wanna do it right now. Um, these are actually from Amazon. I'm going to link this set below because it's so beautiful and it's also reversible So you've got one side which is a fine stripe and then the other side which is a thicker. I love these. They're in like a really gorgeous neutral sandy oatmeal colour One thing I will always stand by whether it's clothing, interiors, whatever it is that you're styling and buying pieces for is it really doesn't matter where you buy things from it's more about deciding on what type of item and what style you want to go for bearing in mind i have got most of this stuff from home sense amazon really inexpensive places and really good price points but the way you style it up and maybe having a couple of more high-end accessories mixed in with a lot of more affordable price points really makes a difference and it's something I will always stand by. You don't need to spend an absolute fortune on every single thing for it to look really chic and stylish and classic. And I feel like this is just a prime example. I don't know whether to do the thick stripe or the thin stripe on the bed. I think I'm gonna do the thick stripe to just add a little bit more color. Okay, the bed is complete. Obviously, I've only got one of these cushions for now, but imagine if I had three of them. Oh, it'd look gorgeous. So this is just very clean and simple and fresh. I love it. It does need a good iron, but I am so obsessed with all these colors and textures and oh, I love it. Look how perfect this frill matches with this bed set. I can't believe how perfect it is. Absolutely love it. Now we just need to see what Jack thinks. He'll probably think it's way too girly and will hate it. <laughs> also, another new thing that I've just remembered I haven't shown you is our new little dressing table to go here. This is not styled and this chair is not staying here. It needs to be completely redone. But I love this. It's from Amazon. I'm going to link it below. It was only £60 and the quality of it is so good. I love this really light ash wood. Um, I built it myself. These little drawers are amazing. I'm just so happy with it. You can obviously change the handles if you wanted to. It's such a good size. I'm thinking of getting a little stool similar to that old one from the range. Um, that's kind of like a greeny pattern. We will have a really lovely printed armchair to go in that corner. This is all changing. The TV's going on the wall. This is all changing and the beams are all changing as well. Um, I'm also going to change the wall lights. Potentially may even take them off. I don't know because we probably won't use them. So I'm not sure yet. Um, I might put a full length mirror here instead of the wall light. 
but yeah i absolutely love how this room is coming together it feels so good and obviously i have a tape measure every single place i go i have a tape measure <laughs> Good afternoon everyone. I haven't vlogged yet today, but it's been a busy Wednesday. My brother is here painting the, or prepping should I say, the dining room, ready to give that a nice whitewash and get rid of the last remaining room of orange, which I'm so excited about. We've also just placed an order for the flooring in the living room and in the office, and that's coming on Friday. So very excited about that. Definitely going to be making a lot of progress in the next couple of weeks, which is so good. I am over the moon. I've also just been doing a couple of little things, so I'm going to show you what I've been up to. So in my office, this fireplace, I really don't know what to do with, but I really want to get rid of the brick. I think I've spoken about this loads of times before, especially on my home account, but I think we're going to micro cement it. I'm not sure. I can't make up my mind. I was thinking about getting some marble tiling to redo the tiles. However, if I do that, I have to then take up all the tiles that are already in here. Um, and that's just quite a lot to do for something that's not really that important. So temporarily, just to kind of get an idea and still decide what I want to do, I've actually just wrapped the wood on the mantel and the tiles on the base with the vinyl... Um, adhesive that I bought from B&Q. So I picked up some more of this yesterday. I managed to only use two rolls to do that entire space, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, but yes, this is from B&Q. This is what it looks like. It's literally just an adhesive film um, with a sticky back plastic kind of vibe. So you can just peel and stick. And I think it looks really good. I think, I mean, I'm not gonna keep it like this forever because it's definitely just temporary just to kind of get the idea of the marble and see if I like it. Um, because I am thinking about potentially just micro cementing the whole thing, um, just so it like blends into the wall really nicely. Because although this is a working fireplace, I won't be using it. It's one thing that I've been doing today, just to kind of get an idea of how it looks. Um, but I cannot wait to get the flooring in here. I think it's gonna completely transform this room because right now we just have underlay and gripper. Um, because there wasn't any flooring in here when we arrived. I've also started doing the wallpaper in the downstairs toilet and I am so excited about it. I thought I would just make a start to kind of see what it looks like and get a bit of an idea. And I feel like once you start something, it then gets done a little bit quicker. So um, let me go and show you how it's looking. Okay, I hope you're ready for this because I absolutely love it. I have only done two strips on this wall and oh my goodness, I just think it looks incredible. I am so happy with it. And you know what? It was actually so much easier to do than I thought. I've lined up all the little trees here so it kind of just looks like one continuous piece. And I am so happy with it. It was a little bit tricky trying to cut it and get it the perfect size, but I think I've done a good job. The only thing I did wrong is I've cut this little piece here too short by the tiniest little millimeter. So I'm gonna need to get an extra piece to go in here um, and just stick that down in there and hope that it's not obvious. But I think the join looks pretty seamless considering I've never done wallpaper before and I just love it. I think it looks amazing. So we're gonna be having the paneling um, from here. So we thought we'd do the wallpaper first just in case the edges aren't great and we can obviously just panel straight over it but oh my goodness i love it i think it's going to look amazing so we're going to have wallpaper around the whole top of the room so all around the window all around this edge and also all around the door 
and then all of the woodwork will be painted in a really olivey green colour. We'll have panelling in here, the back of the door is going to be painted, all the woodwork, everything is going to be painted and I might even do the ceiling as well. So very excited about this but how beautiful is this wallpaper? Just to remind you in case you have forgotten, it's little green stag toil in the moss shade and I just love it so much, I think it's amazing. So this is just a reminder of my mood board for the downstairs toilet, powder room, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is the vibe, the wallpaper and then the panelling and the dark olive green. Herringbone floor throughout the whole downstairs and then this is the mirror that I've ordered. Um, it's actually coming tomorrow which I'm so excited about and also my garden furniture for out in the terrace is coming tomorrow. This is the furniture that I've ordered in case you're interested in seeing but it's coming tomorrow so I can get it all set up on Friday which I'm so excited about. How beautiful is this? It's from Dolls and they honestly have the most incredible furniture at really good prices. I love the detailing on the edges of these chairs and I love that it's got slats on. The cushions, just everything is so amazing. I think it's beautiful. And I really love this table as well. I think that's going to be gorgeous with my little pots on it. So yeah, you'll see that at the, end, at the end of the vlog. I'll get the terrace all styled up with this furniture. I'm just about to have a little lunch break. Made myself a chicken salad wrap. And I'm just about to have a FaceTime with Nadia and have a catch up while I eat my lunch. So yeah, it's like being in a staff room. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello. You're right. Good. How are you? What a beautiful evening it is. I've just added some of the little pots to this area just to style it up a little bit. How gorgeous is this? I just absolutely love all these little colours and textures, it's so beautiful. It's still so sunny and it's half past five, absolutely gorgeous. But I am currently just waiting for Jack's mum to pop over. She's gonna come over for a glass of wine on this lovely Wednesday and just have a catch up and see the house. She hasn't seen it since we moved in, so it's gonna be really nice. I'm excited to show her all the bits we've been doing. But to be honest, I am absolutely exhausted. We went to bed quite late last night. Jack got back quite late and we were doing things. And then we were up really early this morning, so I'm just feeling exhausted. I'm really looking forward to a nice day in London tomorrow. Although I have got um, a couple of work meetings and appointments and things, I think it's gonna be so nice. I'm just really looking forward to dressing up, heading into town. I haven't actually been into the city since we've lived here, so I'm really looking forward to it. Slight change of plan. I've just had a very, very quick turnaround and I've had a quick bath, freshened up, and we're actually going out for dinner. We're going to a gorgeous restaurant which has the most amazing sunsets. So I'm so excited. We're going for dinner with Jack's family and I have just popped on this dress from Forever New which is just so beautiful. This is why I love summer because you can just throw a dress on and you literally feel so much nicer and ready even though it took you three minutes. So this dress is Forever New. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's so perfect for dinner in England, countryside, holidays. I just think it's gorgeous and I can also wear it off the shoulder as well so I just think it's beautiful. My hair is not herring today. I've got hair oil in and I've just had to keep it like this because I have not got time to wash it now so I'm gonna have to wash my hair in the morning but yeah very much looking forward to an impromptu spontaneous dinner. Good morning! It is Thursday today and I'm just at the station. It's so much quicker to get here from the new house, so I'm actually here really early. Um, they've also finally introduced on South Eastern Rail um, the scan barcode when you buy your ticket on the app. And I always buy my ticket on the app just so that I'm prepared. And now I don't have to print it out, I can just scan it, which is so much better. So if I am in a bit of a rush, it doesn't matter, I don't have to queue up and get my ticket, so very pleased. I love my makeup today, it's really, really just light and glowy. I can't, I'm kind of blinded from the sun, but I don't know if you can see my skin, I'm just really happy with it. I've been putting the By Terry CC Serum in Apricot Glow, 
on first as like a base and then oh my god my eyes and then i've been doing my classic combo of rose ink tinted serum mixed with one tiny pump of my hourglass foundation and i just absolutely love it it's just made making my skin so flawless i'm going into london nice and early this morning so first of all i'm meeting fleur for coffee and then i've got a event with Giorgio Armani. I'm really excited to go there um, and see their new launch and then I have also got a meeting and I might potentially, because my meeting is around Regent Street, I might have a little pop into a couple of shops on the way home, just see what's new. I feel like I really want to get some new bits for summer. I haven't really bought any clothes for summer yet um, so I'd like to just have a look in the shop, see what's new. Massimo Duty I'd love to look in and potentially H&M and then i'm gonna head home and get back oh there's a little cat and um get back to see what progress has been made today because louis is at the house all day and i'm very excited about it i'm just gonna spritz some perfume i am wearing my tory birch divine moon perfume that i picked up recently and i absolutely love this it is just the perfect summer fragrance if you have any holidays planned and you like to get a fragrance for your trips 10 out of 10 recommend this i am obsessed with it i've been wearing it every day i'm gonna link this below my lip combo i will also link below because i get so many questions about it and i've actually updated it a little bit so i'm using the by terry hyaluronic lip liner in the shade 4 dare to be then i'm using the giorgio armani lip power lipstick in shade 109 and then the beauty pie wonder gloss collagen lip oil this is absolutely beautiful it's really hydrating it's not sticky i just absolutely love this gloss so oh and the gloss is in the shade nude nectar so i'll link all of these below i've also got my book to read on the train because you know i love to read my book on the train i haven't read this one yet and i actually picked it up in wh smith when i was at the station because um a couple of weeks ago my train was really delayed so i had loads of time to kill and i just finished my book and i was like i might go and have a look at the book see what they've got and the cover just I kind of drew, drew me to the cover and then I ended up reading the blurb and thought it sounded quite good so it's called things we hide from the light by Lucy score different author for me I've never really read any books from her so I'm excited to read this and it's a nice thick one so it should take me a while to get through this one <laughs> let's go to London oh my god I've just realized I've got my basket bag today and I've just realized I've got um an allen key in here and screws oh my god that literally sums up my life <laughs> sunglasses are mew mew by the way i love these so much nadia got them for me for my birthday and they're just beautiful i will link these as well because everyone asks about these sunglasses i did actually see some um much more high street affordable ones from amazon actually so i'll link those as well just in case these ones are a little bit too expensive right 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 let's go I will see you when we're in London. Okay, I'm now in London. I have just had coffee with my little flower. Hi. <laughs> oh, we look very coordinated in our I work. know, so summery. <laughs> we are just at Somerset House and we're just about to head into the Giorgio Armani event, which I'm very excited about. So that I will... so fancy. I know, bougie <laughs> day out. So I will bring you with us. Oh, it's quite dark in here. Hello everybody, I am back home and I am sat on 
the new garden furniture which I'm so excited about I will show you in a moment but I had the nicest day in London it was so gorgeous the sun has been so hot and I literally felt like I was on holiday all day I met up with Fleur as you would have seen and we just had such a nice morning a lovely catch up I went along to the Armani Beauty showroom and it was beautiful. I hope I got enough clips to give it justice because I don't know how much I picked up my camera. But we also shot some pictures um, with some photographers and the team and oh my god it was so amazing. I loved it so much. I'm going to put some pictures on screen that we shot because I am so in love with them. I feel like they're photos that I'll have forever. Um, and it was just amazing. It was such a good morning. The space was absolutely stunning. It was just amazing. It was so nice to see some other girls in the industry and some girls I know and chat and oh, it was just lovely. And then I popped over to an agency, had a meeting with them, looked at some beautiful collections. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm going to be shooting some of the pieces soon, which I'm really excited about. Oh my God, absolutely stunning clothes. They were beautiful dresses. And I came back home. My brother has been cracking on. He's been very busy today. I've just been building the garden furniture on the terrace. And oh my goodness, I am so happy with it. I absolutely love it. So let me give you a little look at the new garden furniture. So here we go. Obviously we still need to sort out the patio. I need to do the box hedging. We're going to, I think I am going to replace this um, trailing plant over here to something really beautiful, but I won't be able to do that until the autumn probably. Um, oh my goodness, how stunning does this look? I could not be happier. It did take me a good two hours to build, but it's so worth it. I just wanted to get it done as soon as possible. I am so happy with this. It's from Dolls. I'm going to link this set below because I honestly think the quality and the value of money is incredible. This was about £600 for the whole set. Two armchairs, the sofa and the coffee table and all the cushions. And also the cushions came readily made so the cushion covers didn't come separate like ikea which honestly is such a small thing but really makes such a difference um, otherwise it just takes so long to put them on i am in love with the cushions they are so beautiful they're such a lovely almost linen style cotton i love all the edging oh just everything about it is beautiful i love the detailing on the arms the shape Honestly, I've got no words. I am just in love and I really love this table. I think this is going to wear really nicely. It's super heavy. It's almost like a stone kind of effect and I just love it. So I've styled it up with a couple of little pots. I've also poured myself a glass of Dalesford Frizzante. I just think it looks amazing. I have opened both of the French doors just because I was kind of testing to see if you could open them and I really wanted it to be in the middle. So I was just kind of getting an idea of it. But I think we're going to add in another planter at the back, potentially either side or maybe just one side. I'm not sure. Um, but we're going to have the box hedging all along the edge. I might do a really big planter behind the sofa along here um, with some really gorgeous flowers in just to kind of frame it a little bit. Because this side is our front door, so I feel like that would make a quite a nice edge here. I'm going to get some little round topiary balls to go in here and... Oh my goodness, I am over the moon. I cannot wait for Jack to get home to see this because it looks absolutely incredible. But yes, as I was saying, I've poured myself a glass of Dalesford Frizzante for my evening. It's Thursday, nearly the weekend. I can't tell you how excited I am for the weekend. Although I do feel like there's not enough time in the day. And lately I just feel so overwhelmed with so many things to do and so many projects that I'm working on and I just feel it's all hectic but it's all good and I wouldn't change it so that is my plan for the evening. Somebody is arriving home! I literally cannot wait to show Jack this furniture, oh my goodness. 